The United Vilaya of Kabardabokaria Karachi, also known as Vilaya KBK, is a militant Islamist jihadist organization connected to numerous attacks against the local and federal security forces in the Russian republics of Kabardino Balkaria and Karachi Cherkessia in the North Caucasus. Vilaya KBK has been a member of the Caucasus Emirate Group since 2007. The group drew most of its early members from the Balkars, a small ethnic minority in the Republic. However, their longtime leader between 2005 and 2010, Anzor Astamirov, was a Kabardin. Members come from other ethnic groups, including the Karachis and ethnic Russians. The group was named after the 7th century Battle of Yarmouk. Origins The group began as a moderate non-violent organization named the Islamic Center in 1993. The group was renamed the Jamaat of kabardino balkaria when it was not allowed to re-register under the original name in 1997. The focus of the group gradually changed because of persecution by Valery Kokov, the longtime ruler of the Republic of kabardino balkaria who labeled all alternatives to the local branch of the Spiritual Board of Russia's Muslims, operating the only official mosque in the Republic as Wahhabis, and indiscriminately and brutally harassed them. Yarmouk was originally founded as a unit of around 30 Balkars and Kabardinians led by Muslim Atayev, which trained at the Chechen warlord Ruslan Jelayev's camp in Pankishi Gorge, Georgia. In 2002 the group helped Jelayev's forces in a raid of the village of Galashki in the Republic of Ingarshisha. Upon their return to kabardino balkaria Atayev and his men launched a recruitment drive among alienated and radicalized youth. Mounting pressure from a continued crackdown led the group's leader, Musamu Kozoev, to join the underground. Many local young radicals had joined the Islamic peacekeeping army that invaded the Republic of Dagestan from Chechnya in 1999 or fought on the Chechen separatist side in the Second Chechen War. Radical Chechen commander Shamal Bashayev maintained close ties with the local Salafis, living in the town of Baksan for more than a month in 2003 before narrowly escaping a police raid. An English would-be suicide bomber, Zarema Muzakoyeva, lived in the Republic's capital of Nalchik before going on a failed suicide mission to Moscow. A Nalchik resident that housed the alleged organizer of the August 2004 bombing in the Moscow metro. Early militant activities in August 2004 Yarmouk announced the beginning of military operations in the Republic. Their online manifesto rejected terrorism, referring to alleged government responsibility for the 1999 Russian apartment bombings. The manifesto noted the corruption of the mafia clans that led the republic. Yarmouk launched its first attack in kabardino balkaria that same month, ambushing policemen in Chechem district. A turning point came in December 2004, when Yarmouk members conducted a raid on the office of the Federal Drug Control Agency in Nalchik, during which they seized large quantities of weapons and ammunition. The founding leader of Yarmouk, Muslim Atayev, was killed when the police stormed an apartment in Nalchik in January 2005. The organization continued to operate, staging attacks under the leadership of his successor, Rustam Bekhanov. He was killed three months later and was replaced by Anzor Astamirov, a former deputy director of the Islamic Center. The group's base of operations was Nalchik and the Balkarian enclave around Mount Elbrus. Nalchik raid and aftermath Yarmouk was the main force involved in the botched raid by around 100 to 200 mostly entrained militants on the capital Nalchik in 2005, during which more than 140 people, including 95 alleged insurgents, were killed. Scores of suspects were detained after the attack, and at least 52 were put on trial. The Jamaat apparently lost most of its members, including the deputy leader Ilyas Gorchkinov. Survivors retrenched, and in late 2007 were subsumed into the united Vilaya of Kabarada. 
Balkaria and Karachi that would operate not only in Kabardino Balkaria but also in the neighboring Republic of Karachi Cherkessia after the destruction of its native Karachi Jamaat. The number of attacks attributed to Vilaya KBK at that time had been relatively low, being mostly targeted assassinations such as that of Anatoly Kirov. One exception was the shooting of a group of nine Russian hunters in November 2007. The militants systematically kept recruiting new fighters and gathering weapons. Surge of violence Following the killing of the group's leader Anzor Astamirov in March 2010, the leadership was assumed by more aggressive young commanders like the Baksan area-based Askadij Apuyev and the southwest sector commander Rakhmir Shamiv, who regrouped Vilaya KBK and changed its tactics. The group went on to perpetrate two high-profile bombings, a blast at the Nalchik Hippodrome that injured two ministers during May Day festivities and a sabotage attack on the Baksan hydroelectric power station that inflicted significant economic damage in July. The group was also involved in a large number of near-daily attacks directed against members of security forces. According to a statement made by the Russian Federal Interior Minister Rishi Nergaliyev in November 2010, the highest level of the terrorist threat in the North Caucasus is in the republics of Dagestan and kabardino balkaria As the KBR saw six times more gun attacks and nearly five times more explosions in 2010 as in the same period of 2009, the Vilaya KBK fighters began to simultaneously act as a Taliban-style morality police, targeting alleged dens of ice. Between March and May 2011, the Russian security services killed nearly the entire leadership of the Vilaya, including overall Emir Askadi Zhapuyev, Emir Zakaria of the southwestern sector and Emir Abdul Jabbar of the northeastern sector. Low-level insurgency the death of so many commanders led to a decline in the number of rebel attacks in kabardino balkaria mostly taking the form of attacks on local police officials and police stations. In September 2011 Nalam Zankashev became the new leader of the rebels. He was killed by Russian security forces in March 2012. A security operation in Nalchik in September 2012 again saw the killing of several senior commanders in a single operation. Ruslan Bayerbekov briefly became leader before being killed in September 2012 when Karsan B. Fakov became Amir. Fakov was killed by security forces in August 2013 in Nalchik, as was his successor Tengiz Guketlov in March 2014.